hundred other monsters will show up to replace anyone you take down. Probably. But now they'll all know I'm coming for them. I just finished Batman the Caped Crusader. As you guys know, I expressed my excitement for the show. Everything about it seemed promising. The style, the look, the voice acting. I can't. You definitely can. What? She's a monster. All things in the trailer showed to have the right amount of Batman. Well, what do I think now after watching all 10 episodes? Batman Caped Crusader is a familiar yet different tale. We see our Batman in the 1940s. This period piece works wonderful with the character. Of course, you're not going to get a Batman who's completely teched out and has a bulletproof armor. What you get is a more young and vulnerable Batman. What Hamish brings to the world is unique in his own. His Batman voice is great. He speaks low and calm and just the right amount of fear. Ow. <laughs> For anyone saying that he isn't Kevin Conroy, of course not. Continuously comparing these things will get you nowhere. Why compare the two at all? Yes, what Kevin did with the role was remarkable, legendary even, and will forever be people's Batman. I don't think by any means that DC is trying to replace or make anyone forget about Kevin. They couldn't even if they wanted to. So let's leave the comparisons behind. Let's focus on this caped crusader who will continue to inspire people just like he's done long before us and long after us, he will continue to do. Caped Crusader is a show that has its ups and downs. Toward the end of the season is where it truly picked up for me. Early on this season, things seemed to move too quick. We spent a lot of time with the villains, yes, but in a show about Batman, he's barely around. One thing about the show is that it relies on our already pre-existing love of the character of Batman rather than to make us care about their new version. What do we really know about this version of Bruce? Of course he's gone through what the typical Batman has, but we've never seen him go through that. And I'm not suggesting another god awful crime alley scene. I want more time with Batman. I want more time with the man behind the bat. There's times where the show doesn't give itself enough time to let things sink in. Everything just keeps moving on. There are some episodes where things are done really well, like the second episode where the show gives us its take on Clayface, one of my favorite Batman stories. The Clayface story is so tragic and beautiful. The way Cape Crusaders handles it is the opposite of what I expected. Instead of Basil already having the perfect face, he grew up without one. He was scary looking, he was ugly, he was hideous. He could have been a star, he had the acting chops, but he didn't have the face. He was only able to be the villain on screen. And ironically, he became the villain outside of the screen as well. It was a change I didn't mind being done to the character, as it offered an interesting perspective that I didn't expect. I want to talk about Gordon for a second. I think he was done incredibly wrong. It feels like he didn't have anything to do. He was just there when the plot needed him to be. And a character as important as Gordon, I thought he would be involved more. Speaking of characters I'd like to talk about, let's talk about Harvey Dent. His conclusion to this season was underdeveloped. It was sad to see him go, of course, but the show just didn't earn it in my books. After one night out with Bruce, he completely lost it. And trust me, I know that it has a lot to do with the acid and the two-faced persona. But I just like more time with Dent. More time of him losing who he truly is. That would have been so interesting. It would have helped a lot more with his ending. And it just would have seemed a lot more earned. Another interesting choice made was what they did to Harley Quinzel. They changed her from being directly tied to the Joker and made her her own threat. Where her character left off leaves us multiple routes of where the character could go should this get a season two. And speaking of which, I think it should. The first season undoubtedly had its flaws, which every show does. The flaws that are in this season aren't extreme. They don't ruin the character or the watching experience. There's just a few touch-ups needed to the animation, to the length of each episode, and to the writing of Batman. We need more of him. So Batman Caped Crusader is a good telling of Batman. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. It's fun and a bit different, so I give it to you. What do you think of the show? Do you think it needs to get a season two? And if it does, will you be seated? 
I certainly will. So we can see what the Joker can give to this caped crusader. How lucky can one guy be? I kissed her and she kissed me. Like the fella once said, ain't that a kick in the head? 